Hey everybody, it's me, Rumi the Comic Book Poser. I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. Today I'm going to unbox something different that you know I get, but I haven't shown it off on the channel yet. I'm going to open up this month's bespoke post. So to see what I got and whether or not you should check this out, you'll have to stick around till after this. Okay, so for those of you who are not familiar with Bespoke Posts, you don't listen to podcasts that have ads for the Box of Awesome and all of that stuff, uh, basically you fill out a small quiz and then there, uh, it will tailor some kind of, of themed box in your direction of a bunch of different products. This is my third month of Bespoke Posts. The first one I got a book about whiskey, some ice molds, and some pretty decent ice glasses, uh, and an old-fashioned cocktail mix. Uh, last month, I changed it from the one it had selected for me uh, to the planter box that I posted on Instagram, uh, where I'm currently growing some, I think, basil and thyme, so I'll try and remember to throw a picture up here uh, of the update on that process. Um, and then this one, I don't think I changed it away from the initial one uh, that I picked, that it gives you... Uh, what they think the preferred option for you is, uh, and then you have the ability uh, between the first and the fifth of the month uh, to go change it. Quality finds for curious minds. So, to see what I got, we'll check out over on the Fancy Cam. But before we do that, if you'd like to see all the random kind of stuff that I open up or have any other suggestions, it's what I should get into. You should definitely hit that subscribe button we're on that March 1500 and we're getting closer each day. So without further ado, let's on head on over to the fancy game. All right, so the name of the box this month is the Frontier Box. Uh, so you get a little description of everything that's in there. Uh, when you look at the boxes uh, before the cutoff date, uh, you do get to kind of look at and select and peruse other things uh, but I was interested in this box for a couple of reasons. First, uh, we've got the Lloyd Notebook by Ash and Fur, uh, and it's a good, what feels like a good moleskin notebook that uh, I have a handful of these that I use for different purposes that even though I like to do uh, a lot of stuff electronically, uh, I'm a very big believer in if I write it down physically, I'm less likely uh, to forget it. So it's a 192-page notebook, and I think what I'll try and do is throw up on around the items what they have these retailing at for on their website, because you can also use your um, membership to get things. So like I bought, um, I think it was like a, a stress um, like um, essential oil roll uh, and a couple of other things. Uh, so here we've got the uh, Open Yield number eight pocket knife. So I like it. The downside is it doesn't lock. So, you know, I, that'll be something to get used to is uh, the blade. And the other thing is I'll have to keep it away uh, for my kiddos, but I like that this has got like a nice wooden handle to it, uh, that it feels different than uh, any other pocket knife that I've had before. So I also like pens, and I'm not a pen addict because I know that there are people who love their, you know, $100, $200, $300 pen, $300 pens, uh, and, you know, I have a preference for the types of pens that I work with, on a daily basis, but wanted to get a nice, you know, a nice new pen to look at. So, uh, this is by, uh, Coico, and it's a classic sport fountain pen, uh, that has a nice little screw on and off cap so I can, you know, stick this in a pocket or stick it on a lanyard. Uh, and then it also came with, a set of refills, and that's been the other problem with um, some different pens that I've gotten in like different kinds of boxes before is that you have to chase down the refill, pray that you get the right number and all of that stuff. So in here, uh, I've got right off the bat, you know, six ink cartridges to go with it. And I know 
what I can look for the next time I get something. And, oh, in there we've got a nice little breakdown on the history of the pen company, and then also some warranty information. And the last item we've got in here uh, is a nice little uh, machined steel bottle opener that it's got some heft to it. And you can see the brand name on there, Line of Trade. So uh, this definitely looks like it can go on my keys or I can attach it to my backpack uh, that, you know, I'm not going to be hunting for where I stick a bottle opener unless I, you know, I'm not very smart and I untie the string or the, the leather wrapping. So uh, I was excited to get this box because it's got a couple of things that I can carry around, right? The amount of stuff that I have to cut, pull, open, right? And if I'm hunting for scissors or things like that, it definitely gives me, you know, kind of the uh, simple everyday carry knife that I can have to pop into something if needed. Uh, and I'm definitely excited to, to play with the pen that I would show off pictures of that, but y'all know I have terrible ass handwriting. So what do you think? Is this enough to make you intrigued to check out Bespoke Post? Uh, you, like I said, you probably looked at it if you've heard a podcast advertisement about it. Uh, so I was definitely excited to show it off. I've been uh, pleased with the three that I've gotten so far, and I definitely feel like, A, I've gotten my money's worth, uh, and B, that the different selections, right, like, based on the, the quiz that I took, it never would be like, this guy wants to grow his own herbs. Uh, but I really like that planner box, and my wife and I were actually talking about going back and buying a couple more uh, to kind of have a porch garden uh, that it will be high enough to keep like the rabbits and stuff out of that are in our backyard. So I'm really excited. If you have gotten Bespoke Post and you want to talk about the cool things you've gotten before, have another like lifestyle subscription box that you're into, let me know in those comments down below. As always, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.